Hi uh, YouTube, this is Patrick with my next entry in the Blu-ray column. I'm going to be talking about The Walking Dead, Season 1. Uh, the second season airs tonight on uh, AMC. Um, looking forward to it. They're actually running the marathon of the first season on uh, AMC right now, but uh, I, I was watching the Giants beat the Bills. Yes. Uh, instead. So, um, anyway. Blu-ray. Okay. Um, show aired last year, six episodes, um, you know, it's about the zombie apocalypse, sort of, after it's happened. It's just a lonely, a bunch of group of, like, survivors trying to survive, that's pretty much it. Um, the show is really, really good, um, if not a little uneven after the pilot. The pilot was fantastic, the pilot was called Days Gone By, it was directed by, uh, written and directed by Frank Darabont, who's awesome. Uh, did Shawshank Redemption, um, Green Mile, uh, The Mist, and, um, yeah, so, so the pilot was great, it was hit and miss after that, um, I actually really liked the finale, a lot of people had problems with, uh, the finale, um, but I think those are basically people that, you know, um, read the comic book and were just kind of annoyed by how the show handled that storyline, I haven't read the comic book, so can't really complain about it. Um, but I will say that the show's biggest problem was the fact that it was six episodes in the first season. Um, because that whole last episode could have been done in, like, you know, three episodes. Uh, normally. It probably normally would have been done in three episodes, would have had a bigger impact and everything like that. Um, but, uh, but still. The good news is that the show got picked up, and it's gonna be, uh, 12 or 13 hour season this year. Um, well, they're going to air like six this winter and then another six starting in February, but that's okay. Um, the biggest change, though, is going to be that Frank Darabont got fired or quit or whatever, so he's no longer the showrunner, um, which we're not going to see take any effect until probably around like, I want to say around like four or five episodes in. I don't know at what, which point he got fired. But uh, that's probably, we're going to have to wait to see if everything holds up. Um, and to be honest, while Frank was responsible for the best episode of the series so far, um, you know, he was the showrunner and he was responsible for the other parts that were misses too, so it, um, so we'll have to just wait and see. We'll have to just wait and see. Uh, as far as the Blu-ray goes, uh, it looked really good. It was shot, the, I think the series was shot in 16mm film, which creates a more, like, grainy approach, um, which they did on purpose for the, uh, you know, for the show, just to give it a grittier look, um, but otherwise it looks fine. Uh, it cost me, I think, 30 bucks, I only watched it once when I got it, um, but 30 bucks, 6 hours of stuff, I watched some of the extra stuff, so I guess in that sense, you know, it's, it's a worthy to the collection, at least for now, we'll see how season 2 goes, um, we'll see if they can capitalize on their, you know, on the fact that they have 12 episodes, see if they can write their misses from the first season. And, um, you know, yeah. So, that's it. That's all I really got. It's a short one. Um, but, uh, I got more football I want to go watch, so. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be watching Dexter at 9 tonight, and then I'm going to watch the encore of Walking Dead at, like, 10.30. Um, yeah, it's an hour and a half from here tonight. So, uh, I'm going to do that, and I don't know what, which one I'll review tomorrow. Probably not both. I'll probably do, like, Dexter tomorrow and Walking Dead on... Uh, Tuesday. Um, but we'll see. Alright, guys. Well, enjoy both shows tonight. Um, and that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow.